What's up, Eagles Nation? What's going on, NFL world? How you doing, Division Rivals? This is Stephen Heider with Gate City Sports Channel, the sports channel where the cerebral NFL fan comes for about 10 minutes of daily content. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's topic, uh, PFF released its its rankings the other day where they were ranking, like, I showed you guys the tandems, the cornerback tandems, but they also just did, like, general cornerback listings. And, I mean, for some of us, you know, we were a little, I won't say shocked, but maybe in disagreement with their ranking of Darius Slay at number 23. So, here's the deal. I'm not going to argue back and forth with, with guys on their opinions on preseason rankings. I'll just maintain this standpoint. Preseason rankings don't mean jack crap. They, they have really no value, man. They're, it's entertainment. Like, okay, it's entertainment. It gives us something to talk about. But, I mean, does that really have any weight or bearing on the season? No, not really. They're projections, and projections can be wrong. It's, it's you know... Projections are always difficult to make. I'll respect their opinion on it. I disagree. I'm not saying that Darius Slay is top 10 or even top 12, but I do think he's top 20. So I, I thought that maybe they were a little harsh on him, but, you know, what it is what it is, guys. All right, so on today's topic, I just want to give a generalized discussion of what I'm seeing from our cornerbacks. I did a little research into them. I want to talk just for a second about how some of these guys are stacking, right? Because we know we have Darius Slay on one side. Darius Slay, by the way, is mostly plays left cornerback for the Eagles. I know the conception is like, well, you can move Darius Slay everywhere. And you can. He is talented enough to do it. But let me just be very clearly, let me speak very clearly about where he played. Left cornerback over 500 snaps at 504. Right cornerback 283. Slot 43. I will say this doesn't necessarily tell you much, but just generally speaking, left cornerback means field side. But theoretically, the field side can be to the right side as well. But just bear with me, right? And obviously only 43 snaps in a slot. That's a little shocking to me. I thought I thought he played a little more in a slot. I thought he traveled and followed more. Some of that's scheme specific, guys. So we're not going to get into that. But generally speaking, Darius Slay is a left cornerback. What I wanted to do is I wanted to look over the roster and just see who are the guys kind of fighting for the left cornerback position. And the first thing I can tell you is, is that if you look at the guys that would fit the mold of a left cornerback, you have, you know, outside of Darius Slay, you have Kayvon Seymour, you have Shaky Old Taylor. Stick with me for a second. So Darius Slay comes in at 71.88 inches, right? Just under six foot tall. You look at Kayvon Seymour and he comes in at 71 and a half inches. About a half an inch short of being six foot tall, right? Uh, Darius Slay put together, built a little better. 192 pounds is what he came in at the combine. Uh, Kayvon Seymour came in a little bit lighter at 186 pounds. I will say that Darius Slay is a little bit of a freak here because he's, you know, sub six foot, but he's got 32 and over a quarter inch arms, that's a very good arm, that's very good reach for a guy that's, you know, sub under six foot guys, although he's just barely under six foot, to be honest, and he's got a 75.6, so you're talking over 75 and a half inch wingspan for a corner, that's really good, I will say that, you know, for a receiver, that would be about the normal, the, the norm, but for a corner, decent, gives you the idea that Darius Slade could really play left, right, he could play wherever you want to, he could carry. Uh, Kayvon Seymour, when you look at it, he's got 30 and a three-quarter inch arm length. So a little shorter on the arm length, right? I'm not going to say he's got dinosaur, you know, T-Rex arms out there, but uh, that's not the longest. It's not the, it doesn't have the greatest reach in terms of corners, guys. Uh, 74 and over a half inch wingspan. So 74.6 to be exact. 625 wingspan. So decent, decent wingspan. It's not too short. It's, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, Darius Slay put up a 43640. Kevon Seymour put up a 43940. Uh Darius Slay 42120 in the uh 42120 short shuttle, so 20 yard shuttle. And then you look at Kevon Seymour, he put up a 418 short shuttle, 20 yard shuttle. Uh 6.93 cone for Darius Slay. 6813 cone for Kevon Seymour. And then Darius Slay put up a 154 10 yard split. Kevon Seymour put up a 155 10 yard split. I mean, look, Kayvon Seymour is definitely athletic. He's got the same athletic traits, even some even better in terms of his testing than Darius Slay. But Darius Slay has a weird combination of being average height for a corner, right around six foot tall, but having really good reach for a corner with that almost 70, you know, 75 and a half inch wingspan. And then to top that off, you know, 32, over 32 inch arm length. So, I mean, look, it's interesting, right? The other guy I see is kind of a left cornerback type is uh, Shaky Old Taylor kid that originally played for Gannon in the Colts, uh, I think like his rookie year, and then he kind of bounced around a little bit between practice squads. Very similar in the height, right? 71 and a half inches, so just short of Darius Slay's mark. Darius Slay was 71.88 inches, but these guys are just under six foot tall. He's 175 pounds, so he's a little thinner in the frame than the other two guys, than Kayvon Seymour 
in Darius Slay. Decent arm arm reach. His arm length's a little longer than Kayvon Seymour's. Uh, Shaquille Taylor has 31 and 1 8 inch arms, so be like 31.13 or something like that, guys. I don't, I'm doing the math in my head, guys. It's kind of hard to do. I'm not a math major. Don't trust me on that. Uh, his wingspan was 74 and 7 8 inches, so almost basically 75 inches. Very similar in frame to Kayvon Seymour and Darius Slay. 4'4", 240, decent, adequate foot speed. 4'4", 720, short shuttle. Lateral speed's not quite there with, with uh, Shaquille Taylor. And then a 7-4-3 cone. The, the, his lateral speed numbers are really bad compared to Kayvon Seymour's and Darius Slay. So Shaquille Taylor kind of lags behind them a little bit, guys, in those numbers, right? Then I kind of looked at right cornerbacks, right? Right cornerbacks are normally going to play the boundary side. These are normally bigger physical guys. I'm going to give you the guys that kind of that I envision here, right? The first one is Michael Jaquette, but I'm going to put a little asterisk here because I got to come back to this one, right? Michael Jaquette's a tall guy, man. He's he's over six foot one. He's over seventy three inches. He's almost you know he's short of you know six one and a half, but he's over six one. So 195 pounds. He's not slight of frame, but probably could use five pounds at the frame. Very you know rangy, lengthy cornerback guys. Thirty three and a half inch arm length. So you're talking about a guy with tremendous reach here. And to illustrate that point, guys, this wingspan is 82 and 1 8 inches. You just don't find too many cornerbacks with wingspans of 82 inches. The reason being is, is that, you guys got to remember, Michael Jaquette was a convert from wide receiver to corner in college. So that plays into it. I could not find his lateral speed numbers, guys. So I don't know what his lateral speed was. But what I can say is he ran a 4-4-2-40 at his pro day. So decent, adequate foot speed. Now, the other guys, and, and here's the asterisk I should say about Michael Jaquette, guys. He played 294 snaps at left cornerback, 220 at right cornerback. So, although he played more on the left side, he played a lot of reps on both in college. And I will say that physically, to me, he fits more of a right cornerback, boundary side cornerback. But that's obviously, that's projection, and we already talked about that earlier in the video. Projections can be wrong. So, Nate Meters. Young man that we signed, he was an undrafted rookie free agent. Spent some time with the Vikings among some teams. Nate Meters, I do see as a right cornerback. Came in at about exactly 71 inches, so exactly five foot eleven guys. 196 pounds, so this is a guy that's a little stronger. He's got a little bit more weight to him, guys. A little shorter in the arm length, though. 30 and three quarter inch arm length, so he's right there with Kayvon Seymour in terms of arm length. He's not a very long, you know, he can't get in there and break up a lot of passes in certain contested window situations. That could be a concern. And I can say he can't, I just say that's a concern, guys. Wingspan, 75 inches. Adequate wingspan, guys. 45240. He's not the fastest guy, clearly. 45240 is not the greatest number. But decent lateral speed. So 418 20-yard shuttle. So actually beating out guys like Darius Slay. And then he had a 6973 cone, which is, you know, a little, little higher than Darius Slay's, but right around what Darius Slay put up in his three cone. So he's a good lateral athlete, maybe not the greatest in terms of vertical speed. And to illustrate that point, guys, Nate Meters ran a 1, 5, 7, 10 yard split. So he doesn't have a very fast, you know, takeoff. He's more of a builder in his speed. He builds up to his speed. But I will say he was pretty athletic, guys. You know, to illustrate this point, both Shaquille Taylor and Nate Meters put up 37 inch verticals, which not bad. I mean, he's got a little hop still. I mean, it's not 40 or above, but decent, adequate kind of size there, right? And the last guy I want to talk about in terms of being a right cornerback happens to be Zach McPherson or Zach McPherson, who. Played a lot everywhere, guys, to be quite honest. <laughs> so, uh, Zach McPherson played mostly at right cornerback, but he's been moved around a lot in his college career. To illustrate this point, guys, he played a ton, a ton at right cornerback, guys. This is where his primary place was in terms of the boundary side, but he also took 143 snaps at left cornerback. So that's a high rep volume. And he also took 144 in the slot, so definitely a movement piece, right? A guy that you can move around. 70.88 inches, so he's coming in just under 5'11", 5'10", but really... Most of us will probably round it up safely to 5'11", just call him 5'11". 191 pounds, put together a little bit more physically. Look, another guy that doesn't have the greatest reach, guys. 30 and 3 quarter inch, so just like Shaquille Taylor, uh, just, I'm sorry, not, I'm sorry, just like Kayvon Seymour, just like uh, Nate Maters, Meters, whatever you say his name, guys. McPherson's right there with him in terms of the arm length. 76 inch wingspan, though, but he's got a big wingspan, so... Interesting to see here because the wingspan lines up to a guy that probably could play the boundary, even though the arm length is a little short. Uh, 4 5 40, so not the fastest forward, but I do think his film's faster than, than what the 40 time shows you there. Good lateral speed, guys. 4 3 20, so 20 short shuttle, so 4 3 short shuttle, 6 8 4 3 cone. Those are really good lateral speed numbers, guys. He's, he's a decent athlete. 
one five three ten yard split. Guy jumped forty and a half inches in his vertical. So to me, those are your right cornerbacks. The, the guys that can potentially compete at right cornerback and be movement pieces. These guys can play all across the formation. To be honest, but you got you know Zach McPhe- Zach McPherson. You got Nate Meters, right? And then you got Michael Jaquette. Michael Jaquette to me is more of a left or a right corner. That's where his versatility is. He doesn't really play inside the way that Nate Meters did in his college career and the way that uh, Zach McPherson did. But nonetheless, those are the guys I kind of see pre camp being right corners. Well, I see the left corners being more Darius Lay, Kayvon Seymour, Shaky Old Taylor so far. And then we just have two guys. Just two guys. I'm just going to call it out as it is, guys. Avante Maddox, right? And then you also look at Josiah Scott. Josiah Scott said he's going to play some outside corner for the Eagles. I don't know if that's true or not. The guy is almost on par with measurements with Avante Maddox. I'm just going to read them off to you real quick, guys. Josiah Scott is 69, point, 69 and a quarter, guys. While Avante Maddox is 69.13, so 69 and one eighth. So slightly taller than Avante Maddox, but almost exact. Avante Maddox is 180 pounds. Josiah Scott's 185 pounds. Josiah Scott has 29.38 inch arm length, so under sub 30 inch arm length. Avante Maddox, 29 and a half inch arm length, sub 30 inch arm length. 71.375 inch wingspan for Avante Maddox, sub 72 inch wingspan, which is really bad. 71.25 inch wingspan for Josiah Scott, sub 72 inch wingspan. Not really, that's, you know, not what you see on the outside. Very typical, guys. Not, not typical. Uh, Josiah Scott did not do any of the lateral drills, so I have no information to give you guys on the lateral drills, but he did put up a 44240. Decent. You know, quality speed here. Vontae Maddox is very athletic, guys. He put up a 4.3940. Vontae Maddox is probably the most athletic guy on this roster, to be honest. 4.3940. He put up a 4 even short shuttle, so 20 yard shuttle. And then he put up a 6.513 cone. 6.513 cone is ridiculously good, guys. It's, he's very good lateral mover and vertical mover. He put up a 1 5 10 yard split, by far the fastest 10 yard split of our corners in Vontae Maddox. And then he jumped 37 inches. In terms of the vertical. So, I mean, that's how these guys are, right? I kind of see it as Josiah Scott could play a little outside. Avante Maddox could play a little outside if these guys don't live up to it. But I think they're nickels to me. And then I see the right cornerback competition, the boundary side corners being between, you know, Zach McPherson and Michael Jaquette and Nate Meters kind of right now without a veteran being signed. And I see the left cornerback being Kayvon Seymour, Shaky Old Taylor fighting to back up a Darius Slay. I'm going to be honest with you guys. We've got to talk about how many they're going to keep. I think with the advancement of today's NFL, you could potentially see six corners kept on the roster. But I think the safe number is just to say five. And if one of these guys proves to be really good, they feel like they could keep on the roster. They feel like they're going to play a lot of dime. They're going to play a lot of nickel anyways. I could see it being six. But I'm just going to say five with four you know, safeties. And that's it, guys. That's That's kind of the way everything's stacking out right now. I want to know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you guys think? So I listed out what I see, projections, guys, of left cornerback, right cornerback, nickel cornerback, where the competition is. If we only kept five, let's make it interesting to say five. In your comment down below, tell me, who are your five? We know Darius Slay is one of them, so who are your four others? So I'll read you the names one last time. Darius Slay, Kayvon Seymour, Shaquille Taylor, Nate Maters, Michael Jaquette, Josiah Scott, Avante Maddox, and Zach McPherson. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all's time and attention. I do still expect a veteran to be signed, but until they're signed, this is what we're working with in the cornerback room. So, all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all's time and attention. I'll see you guys on the next video.